Hey guys, my name is Lashar Simone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I wanted to share with you my brand new Michael Kors Jet Set Travel Double Zip Bracelet in the color Vanilla Signature slash Acorn. I do want to share with you that I'm not Michael Kors affiliated nor am I an expert in Michael Kors items, but I did purchase my wallet on Mercari and if you are nervous about purchasing on Mercari, Poshmark, eBay or any sites similar to those, I do want to share with you some tips and tricks that you can use to make sure that your bag or your wallet is authentic. The first thing I want to point out about this particular wallet is on the tag. So you can see here it says Jet Set Travel and you do see that serial number underneath it followed by the name of the wristlet. Now here is the color vanilla. On the newer versions on the tag you will see vanilla. On the versions prior to this one, it will say vanilla slash acorn. And I'm gonna show you what the difference will be. Vanilla slash acorn, you're gonna see on the inside, you will have an acorn color that is lighter than what you're looking at right now. If your tag says vanilla on it, you will get a darker acorn color that is more similar to luggage. So I purposely purchased the wallet that only had vanilla on the tag because I wanted a darker acorn color to match a purse that I already had. Okay, so just keep that in mind when you are searching for your wallet and make sure you get a good look at the photos as well. Okay, so one way to authenticate your wallet is to look for Michael Kors in tiny letters. You can see that the MK signature logo is all over the wallet. Now let's search for Michael Kors in tiny letters. So first one I see is right here. You just search all over and there's one more here. And another one here. So that's one thing you're gonna look for. On camera, you're probably seeing it very easily, but with the naked eye, you might not spot it so quickly. So I learned that if you tilt forward, you'll be able to spot Michael Kors a lot faster than if you look at it straight on, okay? That's just something that I learned when I first received my wallet. Um, just tilt that forward and you should be able to find it a little bit faster. Going across in length, it is 7.25 inches. Going down in height, it is 4.25 inches. In width, from here to here, it is one inch. You do have a strap for your wristlet, and it is seven inches in length. If you do not measure with that gold clasp, just this leather strap is six inches, including the clasp, it is seven inches in total. Okay, and you can see here, it says Michael Kors, on that clasp. Now you do have two zippered pockets, which is how it got its name, the double zip bracelet. And you can see here on the zipper pull, it does have Michael Kors on both of those, okay? And that's just what it looks like on the inside of that pocket. And you will see this pattern in every single pocket in this wallet. I did try to put my iPhone XS Max Without a case in this pocket, it did not fit at all. So I just wanna give you that heads up, but do not worry. There is an actual pocket designed for your phone inside of this wallet and it will fit. We'll get into that in a second. But here's this first zippered pocket. You have a second zippered pocket here. And it looks exactly like the first one. Okay, again, your phone, if you have an iPhone XS Max, will not fit in there, okay? So you can see the wallet. I love that they used Safiano leather. Very durable, easy to clean. You do have six credit card slots here. You can put your debit card or your rewards card or whatever you'd like. And then you have one ID window right here. This is my care card and you have two slip pockets that you can put your cash, your receipts, or whatever you would like. On this side of the wallet, you have your phone pocket. So we're just gonna take that off like that. And I just wanna point out that you have Michael Kors right there in the wallet as well. And your little 
little sensor and that's what the inside of that pocket looks like just like all the other pockets and I'm going to show you a demonstration so I can't put my actual phone in here because I'm filming on my actual phone but I do have some cases that I'm going to demonstrate for you so the first case I have for you is this clear silicone case that I got from Walmart. It is very thin and this will have to act as my phone. So let me show you how it fits if you did not have a pop socket on there. Do you see how that perfectly fits in that slot? Without a pop socket, you would be good to go. It would not add any bulk to this wallet whatsoever it's hard to show you but you would still be perfectly fine now if you want to keep your pop socket on your case have to like work your way in there it does fit it fits but you can't reach that bottom clasp if you didn't have the pop socket you could but you can't reach so nice of them to include two you can snap it on to that one and it does add some bulk to your wallet. So let me show you what it looks like when you close it. Not the most appealing, but it's it's doable and it works if you do have a pop socket and you don't wanna get rid of it, okay? So that's what it's going to look like. I have another wallet that I, I'm sorry, another phone case that I wanna demonstrate with you. So this is a velvet caviar case that I have. They are known to be pretty sturdy, durable, and they're thick. So let me show you what that would look like without sliding in the grip ring. If you don't have one and you just have this case, you should be perfectly fine. Let me try to show you what it would look like. You would be good. Now, if you do have a grip ring, slide that all the way in and just like the pop socket it adds bulk you're not gonna reach not even close so we'll snap that into the first one there we go this one adds more bulk than my pop socket did you see that Again, not very flattering but you can do it if you want okay so that's what that looks like. Just wanted to share that with you in case anybody was wondering. And you do have to be careful sliding that out because it is thick and you did have to like jimmy it in there. I personally won't be doing that. <laughs> but there you have it. Now your final pocket is right here. And this is such a nice pocket to have. And you can put whatever you'd like in here, cash, receipts. Um, if you have like a large pieces of paper, like a a bill or something like that you can just fold that up and slide that right in here so this is what I really want to show you this is how you authenticate any Michael Kors purse or wallet that you have you see there it says AV 1905 19 is the year and 5 is the month so this bag was made in May of 2019 it says made in Vietnam now to my knowledge bags are manufactured in Vietnam Philippines or China for Michael Kors. So if you see any of those three countries, you should be okay. Um, and then you have your serial number right underneath that and Michael Kors. On the back of that, you have a barcode that you can scan. And that's a good way to authenticate um, your Michael Kors purse or wallet. Um, if you have anything prior to 2016, it would be like a clear tag. It's like a clearish white or clearish gray or something like that. Um, but after 2016, they switched over to these black tags like that. Okay, so let me just give you an overview.
So thank you again for watching my video. I hope you like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Leave any comments down below if you have any questions and um, subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye.